So this is my little room for the next three nights. We've got a cute little balcony, cute little single bed, a uh, little fridge, um, safe wardrobe, and then like the sink because the bathroom's quite small, which is fine. Um, I didn't put the key card in. Yeah, so cute. This will do me nicely for three nights. I'm still in my airport outfit. <laughs> and I mean, I don't have the best view, to be honest, which is a bit sad, but regardless, we still get to see the lovely sun, which is lovely. I can come here in the morning and have my nice little juice. So yeah, cute. Hello from Spain. I am officially on my first solo holiday. Oh my God. Ooh. How exciting yet scary. But I just really wanted to document it basically because I keep seeing, it's really weird how this is like panned out. Because I was going on about going on a solo holiday and then I just literally started seeing everybody else doing it. I was like, is this a sign? Is this a sign? I feel like this is a sign. So I thought, you know what? I want to document this for anybody else that is like debating about doing it. We're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this together. So it's not even a solo holiday. It's, it's me plus whoever's watching basically. Um, so I've literally just checked in um, I've just been perusing the streets because it was a very, very early flight. Um, got here at about 20 past nine in the morning and I couldn't check in till two. So I've literally just been walking around, to be honest. I mean, obviously we had to wait for the transfer and stuff like that. So it wasn't like I was like here for that long. Um, but yeah, I've had a good few hours definitely scoping out the streets. Um, Everyone seems lovely. I don't feel anxious at all. That might change in the evening. Staying in the 15th Boutique Hotel in Lorette de Mar. If you're wondering, I would have inserted a little room tour of where we're at. Um, so yeah, and I also thought whilst I'm here, I mean, obviously I'm really sorry about my makeupless face, but you're just gonna have to ignore that. Um, I also thought when I was perusing the streets, I did buy a few clothes and I thought, let's just do a little, it will show and tell. So they have a Stradivarius here, which is very, very exciting because normally the one closest to me is London and I'm never really in London. So I never really buy anything from there. I only bought a pair of trousers basically I've arrived and it's cloudy and I am a bit sad about that um so I'm it's it's warm now like it's warmed up it's the afternoon and the sun is trying to break through so that's fine I'm just hoping I can actually sunbathe because if I can't I'll, I'll be I'll be distraught do you know what I mean these are the trousers I bought you know these um these are like literally everywhere at the minute, these top trousers. I don't know who they're inspired by. Maybe Hayley Bieber, everything's inspired by her. But I loved how these were. They obviously sit like hip level. Um, yeah, they're not like tailored. They're just like straight leg. But I just really liked the band detailing. Um, I don't even know if these were like expensive or not. They were 29.99 euros. Um, probably the same amount, to be honest, of what you pay in England. Okay, I was proper excited about this shop that I saw. It's called Stocks. Honestly, everything's gorgeous. The thing is, sizing, there is none. It's non-existent sizing. So it's, like, it's pretty much a, a size fits all, which obviously, 
you know, make it make sense because it doesn't. But their quality, lovely. I loved so many pieces in there. Um, I just did find some of the sizing obviously a bit off because, you know, it's not going to work for everyone. Um, so I basically picked up, I'm picking up summer wear and it's autumn back home, but you know, the next holiday. But I love, love these um, really floaty dresses. And I have not found one that literally is the length of me, like to a T. This fits me perfectly, I'm five foot three. So for all my petite gals out there, you know, it's a struggle or it just doesn't fit right. I've got really little shoulders as well. And it's just, it's a nuisance. This one fitted is stunningly. And it's just, yeah, a lovely floaty day dress. It can even be a night dress, put a belt on it. I loved it, it fitted perfectly. $25.99, honestly, the quality is also great. I don't know if this, you can get this shop anywhere else, but if you ever do come across it, go inside. And then also picked up a, another floaty dress. Um, this one is in white, so it's quite see-through, but then obviously they've got the little um, second layer around the boob, which is great. But yeah, again, very, very floaty. This one is a lot floatier than that one. That one did have a bit more of a shape, even though it didn't. This one is very big, but it's the back. The back absolutely sold me because it's like open, I mean, you can't tell at all, but look, it's like open. Honestly, my back looks amazing and I thought I just have to get it around the pool. Like, I'm thinking like Italy, do you know what I mean? Like that type of vibe, like, ah. Uh. Again, put a belt around it. I just think it would, oh, it's amazing. And I had to get it, it was 16.99. Honestly, absolutely dirt cheap for that quality. It's insane. Also, I've been on the hunt for a little mini skirt that, you know, is trending at the min. Um, with a slit in, none fit me whatsoever. Either the waist just is weird or the length is weird. Something isn't, you know, matching up. This, perfect, right? Absolutely perfect. And I can't wait to style this at home with like big jumpers and boots. Ooh, 9.99 euro. Sorry, absolutely, I will take that. I'm just gonna chill for a minute because I need to charge my phone and probably catch up with the family to let them know I am safe. So yeah, but I'll take you along with me this evening. We'll see what this evening brings. Catch up with you in a minute. <laughs> So I'm going to investigate the pool scenario because I don't know if it could just be me down there on my own. I don't know if it's like too cloudy for people to sunbathe, but I just I just want to like chill around the pool for a sec, you know, get maybe a drink. There is a bar down there. So I'm just gonna go see what the sitch is all about down there. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. after having a little hour sunbathe. There's actually a lot of people. This is loud, isn't it? So sorry, bear with. There you go. Um, there was actually quite a few people down there. So that was nice. Um, honestly, I'm so sorry. Like literally ignore these spots. Like that is literally protruding at you. Oh my God, honestly, so sorry. Um, but yeah, 
and they kindly were giving round little snacks. I loved it. Um, but I've just come back up now because I'm about to get ready for dinner. So I thought, hopefully, there is um, some sort of music on the old TV. So yeah, I'm about to get ready and then dinner time. hotel had my dinner went for a walk picked up some more snacks and i may 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 have picked up a um like a froyo you know like a snog back in england but like a frozen yogurt pot and i'm so full and i don't know why i've got it kind of regret my decision but i just really fancy but I am really full. So I'm going to attempt to try and eat that and attempt to play some Netflix. And yeah, I'll um, speak to you tomorrow. <laughs> thinking about heading to this um garden place near Loretta Mar. I can't remember the name. Um it's totally gone. I'll insert what it's called. But I'm thinking to go there because at the minute it is actually quite sunny. But it says it's gonna be cloudy. So I thought if it's gonna be cloudy that would be a nice thing to do for like a little walk around and it's only half an hour walk away from here so i don't even need to like get a bus or a taxi or anything because that's absolutely fine for me so i'm just going to get ready start the day i've got breakfast included so that's nice um see what they've got down there I mean, I'm absolutely gagging for a coffee. I totally forgot to um, buy any sort of drink to put in the fridge. So you can probably hear it in my voice that I am very dehydrated, to be honest. Not great, not a great, not a great start. Um, but yeah, we'll see what today entails. Okay, so I'm all ready now. I'm about to go down to breakfast and then, yeah, try and find this garden place and then hopefully go to the <laughs> now four 
had some lunch just literally over there watching the sea I mean this is what dreams are made of really isn't it like you can't you can't beat it you literally cannot beat that feeling of just stillness nothing to worry about the only thing I worry about is what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight to be honest but um I'll probably head back soon um chill out at the hotel maybe get a beverage and then head out for dinner yeah loving life at the min So I've just literally been sunbathing on the balcony for a few hours waiting for my phone to charge. I feel like I've got a lovely colour and I love it. It looks great. Um, but now it's time for dinner. I think I'm going to go down to reception, maybe grab a beverage, you know. And then, yeah, head to the town and see where I can eat some dinner. I really want to have dinner Um on like the beach front. I feel like that would be really cute. So that's the mission. That's what we're gonna try to do. Okay, so I've picked up a ice cream for the way home. I've got Biscoff, speculoos. I've really eaten it. <laughs> morning it's my last full day here i feel like it's gone like quite quick considering um so yeah today's plan is potentially visit tossa de mar which is like a 40 minute bus journey so i'm hoping it all goes smoothly um i got recommended it by danny my friend <laughs> at the bar um he names me Carol, so it's all, yeah, friendship. Um, but he said it's like very um, scenic and like very, yeah, like more type, more of my vibe. I think as soon as I said to him, I've been to the gardens, I think he knew my type of vibe here. Definitely not the nightlife vibe. So I think I'm gonna visit there. I've looked on Google and it said like it's two pound for the bus. I don't know. Oh have a look um but yeah i'm about to head down for breakfast okay so this is what i'm wearing very simple very basic um this is literally all i've packed basic clothing <laughs> um but yeah comfy and bikini and <laughs> I literally just nearly got attacked by a wasp below. Don't bring food to the beach because literally this wasp was on a mad one and it wanted to eat me, I swear. So I was running around the beach looking like an absolute mad woman. And everyone probably thought, what is she doing? <sighs> but yeah, just enjoyed a little fruit pot. I've also bought a Serrano ham sandwich, which I cannot wait dive into love serrano ham so yeah i'm here until the foreseeable from the castle and genuinely like this is the most stunning thing I've done this is just sublime beautiful like I mean I'm getting attacked by freaking flies definitely sensor but like climbing the 
castle and then there's like a bar at the top and it's actually overlooking all of the sea it's gorgeous i've just enjoyed a pina colada and yeah i'm on my way back down and i'm gonna pop into a few of the little shops because also it's so like idyllic here like really cobbly streets it's just so cute i would actually highly 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 recommend coming to the